Hi guys, recently I purchased a Nissai meter and from the start of using it I noticed the readings were all over the place. Here I have made a video showing the problems I am having with it. If anyone else has had similar problems with this type of meter, it would be very helpful if you could pass on any information or any idea what may be the problem and add your input in the comments section below. Any help would be appreciated. The meter I show here is a Nissi DG103 300 watt stroke 1200 watt model. There are also models made by MFJ and KPO. There are also other brand models the same. Although I noticed on the MFJ model, instead of the switch reading power, it read HF stroke UVHF and not to the wattage reading of 300 to 1200 watts. Whether this is a conundrum of manufacturers not knowing what the difference is upon manufacture, I do not know. Whether HF or UVHF or 300 watt stroke 1200 watt, the schematic diagram for both looks the same for all models, which would make sense with so many people having discrepancies depending on which model they may have. I really have no idea, which is why I would be interested in any input you have. Hi guys. Right, so I'm sorry I've not been around for a while. Uh, it's been some time since I uh, last uploaded. Um, but I just wanted to um, show you something that I'm having a problem with at the moment. And it's that Nissai meter there that's right in front of you. The one that's uh, lit up orange. Now, ever since I've had this meter, I've had nothing but wrong readings off it. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a couple of other meters that are actually really accurate. Um, one being the one above there, the Zitagi um, HP201. Um, I know people call Zitagi meters, but I've never had a problem with that one. And I've, I've had it tested, and it is pretty accurate. And the second meter that... Um, that I, I normally use is that Watson there in the background in the bottom right. Now I'm going to show you the problem that I've been having with this Nissai meter and I have spoken to uh, quite a few people that have also purchased this meter um, and they also say that they have problems. Now I don't actually know what make of the meter that they have because there's about four or five of them out there with the different names. Uh, this one here being the Nissai, I know there's KPO that does one and I also think that MFJ do one too and there's a couple more um, non-branded ones out there. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is what seems to be happening uh, when I use this meter, yeah? So as I say, I've got two of the meters that I've tested with and they are, they work at both the same parameters. So it doesn't matter what I feed into it, they both give the correct readings on each meter to maybe half a needle's width um, between the two meters, the needles on each meter. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to feed 20 watts, uh, sorry, 25 watts into a linear right so what happens with this meter is the more wattage you put through it or you feed um, there seems to be like a discrepancy on the reading whether it's to do with uh, the uh, the reference or, or the SWR or the wattage reading right okay so when you key up you send your signal out that's called forward so that's the three main digits at the top that read the power output yes right okay so you're with me so far because it confuses me um, right so on the radio there you can see it's actually flashing on menu because I'm in the menu for the RF power output on that particular radio so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the wattage to 25 watts and I'm going to feed a linear now, the linear that I'm going to be using today is not the linear that's directly below 
uh, the, the meter so that's not the that's not the one I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this one just here which is a RM Italy 703 right okay so and the reason I've chose that particular um, linear is because obviously it, you can put more power out of that one than you can the one that's directly below the below the meter so right I'm ready to key up so watch what happens on on the forward right so it's on 25 watts feeding the 703 and I'll key up watch what happens now the, the 703 will do 500 watts all day long on FM right and that's at a 25 watt input now if you notice what's happening there the wattage is decreasing now on my other two meters the 703 will run at 520 watts uh, now that I have actually got it set up right it, it will run at 520 watts on FM and it's rock solid on the two meters I have um, so it has been like you know tested um, for its output so I do know that that is accurate but on the Nissi meter the, the wattage just constantly drops off now I have had this keyed up for about 45 seconds and the output wattage reduces right down to about 350 watts and keeps going but I didn't want to have the linear keyed up for you know a very long length of time so at first I thought hmm there's a problem with the linear so the linear was sent back and it was professionally tested by those that sold it to me and it is one of the main UK outlets which I'm not going to mention because I don't like name dropping but um, there's nothing at all wrong with the linear when they tested the linear out um, it you know it did the same readings or near enough the same readings that I was getting from it which is round about they was getting between 515 and about 520 and they on two different meters that they tested it with and they also tested that with a dummy load now I didn't want to test it with a dummy load um, because the same thing happens so it doesn't matter whether you're using um, an antenna or whether you have it on the dummy load the same thing happens so what I've done today is I've put it onto the antenna to show you the drop off in the wattage on the meter yet under testing the linear is not dropping off in wattage there's absolutely nothing at all wrong um, with the you know with, with the linear at all so I'm getting the same results basically as what they're getting um, at the outlet that sold me the linear so there's absolutely nothing at all wrong with the linear um, I also explained to them that I'm using a, a 60 amp power supply to run the 703 now I have three um, sorry I have two 60 amp power supplies and I have changed the changed the power supplies over thinking okay so maybe there's like a drop off in in voltage um, you know with one of the supplies maybe there's something wrong with that but no uh, both 60 amp uh, power supplies um, performed exactly the same exactly the same and also they when I when I was explaining all this to those at the place that sold me the linear they also used a 60 amp power supply and they also had no problems whatsoever you know with running the linear um, to its you know its peak um, which is r roughly around about 500 watts those linears will do um, what you know what what are a to state they will do 500 watts I've seen some that have been overdriven they don't last a long time but I have seen some that's overdriven that will do quite a bit more than that so the problem isn't with the power supplies it's not with the linear it's not with any of the other meters that I've tested um, 
the the, the meter with the Nissi with, but you know it just constantly the higher the wattage is fed into it, the more the wattage will just drop on you know on the reading. Now, not only have I tested this rigorously with power supplies meters, I've also tried it on other radios. So it's not the radio either that's losing power on transmit as in feeding the linear now the same thing occurs when i use a smaller linear but the drop off um just seems to be about the same it just you know the, the power just drops off now i don't know whether it's anything to do with you know the meter itself um with something that's wrong with you know something inside it that either starts to heat up it can't handle the power that the meter's supposed to take but this one here is, um, it's, what does this one read up to? 1300 watts. So you would think that the meter would be able to cover um, any lower input going through it without having a drop off in registering how much wattage, how much forward power that you're pushing out through it. So after all the testing I've done, um, it seems that it is the Nissi meter that is at fault. Um, unless somebody else can point something out there to me um, you know as I say I've tested it on the dummy load and I've also tested it on air the same thing happens um, so you know whatever's causing the issue I have no idea in saying that I have spoken to you know a few other stations that have basically bought the same meter or the same meter under a different name and they also say that these meters are completely rubbish and they you know just don't do what they what they're meant to do which is give you an accurate meeting so th these meters um retail at around about 140 you know pound uk pounds <laughs> and i know a few are going to turn around and say well you get what you pay for but when you pay £130 for a meter, you know, you would expect it to work. So there are other people out there that have said that these meters are not very good. And um, I'm inclined to believe what they say because under all the testing that I've done with the one I've got, I certainly can't get any type of accurate meeting, uh, reading Sorry, from, from the meter itself. Now, I have tried this meter with a lower input uh, wattage um and it's the same thing you know it, it seems as though it, when it starts to warm up or when power is passed through it um there's a drop off in the reading now i just wondered if there was anybody else out there that have had the same problem with the meter that they have so i'll just show you again on my other two meters this will keep to 520 and it will sit there forever but it will just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. And like I say, when you get down to about 45 seconds of, of a dead key on FM, um, it's round, it drops off to around about 350. Um, I think that's about the lowest I've seen it because, I, you know, run, running a little bit more power, you have to be very careful with what you're doing. So you don't really want to be damaging anything. But anyway, guys, uh, I just thought I'd leave that one with you and just tell me what you guys think. And um, if, you know, you've also had experience with this type of meter and if you've had any problems with it yourselves. So thank you very much, guys. I uh, hope to start uploading again pretty soon. As I say, uh, work has got in the way of a lot of things. And, um, you know, we've just had, uh, uh, you know, Christmas out of the way as well. And a lot of catching up to do, it. you know, with a lot of other things too. So thanks guys for listening um, and just tell me what you think yourselves. Any help in the comments would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much for now. Bye bye.